Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now today I've got a quick practical because I'm basically making my own dinner. But I'm doing this as a video because a lot of people have requested it. It's the vegan KFC. Okay, the basic ingredients to make your vegan KFC. One, you need tofu. Now let me explain how we make, how you prepare the tofu. With the tofu, Tofu normally comes, it's quite soft and smooth, but in order to make it more porous so you can absorb more flavor, you have to freeze it and then defrost it, then squeeze out the water. And if you want it a little bit even more texture, you squeeze it a second, you freeze it a second time and squeeze it out a second time. And that creates a texture which is more porous, which I'll show you later. Then we need a strong uh, flavored broth. If you have like a, um, a vegan chicken stock, or in this case I've used a mixture of some vegetable stock cubes uh, with some seasonings, a bit of garlic, some herbs and also some bouillon uh, to make a quite a strong broth. Over here we have flour which I'm going to use to um, the final uh, coating before it goes in the oil and here I have uh, an egg replacement. So let's, let's go through the process. So I've frozen this and squeezed out as much water as I could squeeze up from it. It's a little bit more water in it, so I'll just give it a final little bit of a squeeze. To make sure as much water is out as possible. As you can see, even as I'm squeezing, water still coming out. And what we end up with, once we squeeze out all the water, is something that just breaks apart. all these pockets where we can sort of trap flavor. So I'm just going to tear these into chunks, just like that. Okay, so now we've torn our tofu into chunks. You go smaller if you wish, but these are a, a nice, these are a kind of a good size. Now, the next stage, because the tofu then becomes like little sponges. Tofu in and of itself has no real flavor. In fact, a lot of things have no real flavor in and of itself. Even meat without any seasoning doesn't really have a tremendous amount of flavor. But tofu in particular has a particularly bland flavor. So it's a sponge really, in order to soak up all the flavor that you cook it in. So here we have quite a strong flavored seasoned broth, kind of a, a chicken style. So I'm gonna take the tofu and dip it inside the, the broth, like that, and then, give tofu a chance to soak up as much of that broth flavor as possible. Now, the tofu is very, very delicate at this time, so it's very easy to, to break apart, so you need to just be gentle with it. Don't be too rough. So it's all in now, and what we're gonna do is just press it down to give the tofu a chance soak up the broth, which is actually quite a strong broth. So for example, if you're doing something to taste and you were to, and you were to use one stock cube, then maybe for the purpose of this, you'd use two or three. Because you need quite a strong flavor to soak into it. Because ultimately, we don't keep all, all the flavor, so we drain it off. So there, you can see. Tofu soaked up most of the juice. The next stage we do now, just to I'd like to see, is that we need to drain all the juice off. So we soak it up initially, and then we've got to drain all the juice off as much as we can. So our tofu is now soaked up all that intense flavor. Now it's just a quick three-stage process. First of all, I'm gonna dip each one of the pieces and coat them in flour. Then I'm going to, to dip them in our uh, mixture here, which is an egg replacement mixture. And then I'm going to go put them back into the flour at the very end. And that's going to be the final coating that's going to crisp up when we deep fry them. Okay, next stage now. Here, I, in here, I just have some seasoned flour. I've got a little bit of um, paprika, some garlic, a few herbs, a bit of nutritional yeast as well. So 
So I really are packing these things full of flavor. So I'm gonna take one piece at a time, be very, very delicate with them because they are quite fragile at this stage. And I'm just gonna dip them, coat them in flour. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and coat all these with our savory, savory flour mixture. Okay, so as you can see, I've coated all my initial pieces very delicately in, in flour. Now I've got some small bits left, which I'm just gonna try and scrunch, scrunch all together at the very end to make uh, some bigger blobs, but they're too small individually to use. But um, I'll, still get, I'll still make sure they're used though. Now the flour we have left, we'll need this because it's gonna be the ultimate coating, coating over the end. I'm gonna add something interesting to that. So here, to, in order to give uh, our vegan chicken a bit more crunch, I've got some bacon flavored uh, salad sprinkles. Now these really do um, give the, the, the coating a bit of a kick. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of these in. And that's gonna give it out the outside of our, our vegan chicken an extra crunch. Okay, so let's do it. So all we're gonna do now is, is dip our vegan chicken into our vegan egg, into our vegan coating, which is actually ram full of crazy flavor. And then we're gonna drop it in the oil so it can deep fry. All right, we're gonna do it in batches of about maybe, uh, one, two, about four or five pieces at a time. Okay, oil to the temperature. Let's get a dipping. So first things first, our egg mixture, vegan egg. Fully coat. This has got like a glue into our flour mixture. Cover with flour. And then in we go. Work quickly. Egg. Flour. In we go. Egg, flour, in we go. I wish you could smell this right now, but it's crazy just how much like chicken, fried chicken, this actually smells. And here we have our vegan KFC. Smells delicious. Looks wise, well, you make up your own mind. I like chicken to you. Put the proof of the pudding, as they say. Now I made this for the missus, so I might get in trouble if I have a big one, so let me taste it. Oh. These are delicious. Do you want to take another one? That's a look on the inside. Oh. A little flavor. Good consistency, nice and soft, like a succulent chicken breast. Look at that. Crunchy on the outside. Oh, there's a long night. These are peng. Totally peng vegan KFC. I think that's what I'm gonna call the video. And here we have it. So now we have our vegan KFC. And I'm gonna make a wrap. So 
I just quickly made some flatbreads, and if you want to know how to make the flatbreads, you can see the our flatbread video. Really easy to make, really tasty, quicker than even going to the shop. So what I'm going to do for my flat for my chicken KFC vegan wrap, I'm going to have a couple of leaves in this one, a few leaves, got a bit of vegan cheese, a couple of chunks, I might want to make more than one. I've got a bit of mango chutney, a bit of mango chutney in. Oh yeah. And then finish off. I'm gonna put in some vegan chicken. That. Now assembled, wrap it up. Here's a wrap after all. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Put it at the bottom, things across the top. Just like that. Boom! KFC vegan wrap. Well, my version of it. Whole meal wraps. Uh, Tofu tof KFC, beautifully seasoned. Bit of cheese, bit of spinach. What does it taste like? Mmm, that is well nice. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you want to get us via email, email at admin at foodat101.co.uk. As always, my name is Mr. Lionbird. For you, you can call me sir.